Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Emma's Book Connect. My name is Emmeline and today I am doing my May wrap up. So um, in May I read a total of five books and I feel like every single May or not May, every single month I seem to be reading just five books which is fine, it's all good, it's better than none but I kind of just want to try reading more books which hopefully will happen next month but this month was kind of an okay reading month for me it wasn't like the best in my opinion like I've probably read some better books to be honest with you but without further ado I am going to get into the wrap up and talk about the books I read in May so the first one I'm going to talk about is Good Girls Die First by Catherine Foxfield so this one I gave a 2 out of 5 stars, this is probably my least favourite book of this month. We are following a story of a, a group of teenagers basically that are both all invited to this island or like this pier um, anonymously and basically they are like there because of secrets or something like that and they're trying to figure out why, what these secrets are. Um, but yeah, I just didn't really enjoy this book to be honest with you, I found it rather slow to begin with anyway but I was also really confused and I know I said just now it was really slow I remember it being quite fast um, as well so like for example a scene would happen and it would just happen really really fast so like one minute they'd be talking about something then something would happen and then they'd be doing that and I'm just like what is going on um, but yeah I just found it really I don't know a bit of a strange read in my opinion and also there was a very much of a lack of character building like all the characters I literally could not picture in this book because I just felt like there was no description of their appearance or anything like that and I just found that a little bit of a letdown for me um, I don't even know what else to say about this book because I feel like nothing happened and yeah I don't know I just didn't really enjoy it so yeah 2 out of 5 stars for this one so the next book I read in May was A Meet Cute by Helena Hunting so I decided to pick up a kind of romancy kind of book and this one I think I gave a 3 out of 5 stars this one wasn't a letdown though this was quite an uh, emotional but also kind of fun read we basically follow the story of Kaylin who is at the start going to like law school or something like that and she meets this guy called uh, Dax who was a child actor when she was younger and she had like a major crush on him and everything like that and they meet again a few years later like seven or so years later um, because Dax is now a lawyer and she's working in this firm basically they meet again uh, under really sad circumstances to be honest with you and it's basically them just trying to deal with this circumstance but also figure out what went wrong with their friendship and how they can fix it so yeah I gave this one a 3 out of 5 stars I felt like the writing was like really really good I liked the writing um I've never read a Helena Hunting book before so that was also a new author to me like I said there was a sad storyline there was also a few humorous bits thrown in but if I'm going to be completely honest with you I wasn't very much keen on the main characters in this book I didn't like Dax I didn't like Kaylin the only character I really did love was the sister of Dax whose name I think was Emma Emmy sorry her name was Emmy I liked her I felt really sorry for her um due to what was happening in the book but yeah I just sorry I'm having like a really annoying wardrobe <laughs> I just found um what happens basically in this book and the way it could affect Emmy I just found the two characters kind of selfish in the big um to be honest with you and I think by the end of it I was kind of bored with the, the story and I kind of wanted to move on with it and there were some I think predictable bits in this but other than that though I think this was an okay read and I think I would like to give more of Helena Hunting's uh, books a go in the future. The so next one I have is Not Here, this is the ebook I read of the month and it was from Libby and that is Cinderella is Dead. So this one was probably my favourite read of this month, I loved this book, I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars. This is basically a very dark and twisted retelling of Cinderella in which basically Cinderella has died 200 years previously to when the story is set and they have to find a husband in this like ball that they all have to go to by the king's orders and if they don't go or they don't get picked by a husband then something bad happens to them they're just taken away and the main character of this whose name has left me um is basically obviously against all this and she 
likes i remember the second character's name erin <laughs> well i don't remember her name but anyway she ends up like she loves erin basically but she obviously is like being forced not to marry her and forced to marry someone else but she obviously doesn't want that so she's trying to basically go against this and she also meets some other characters along the way and she just wants to find out the truth of what actually happened to cinderella because it doesn't seem like all is there kind of thing i really love this book though i don't really read fantasies especially like kind of retellings but this one just kind of caught my eye and it was available on libby at the time so i decided to just take it out and yeah i really really loved it i found the world building really good i will just say one thing though at the beginning i felt like there was a lot of building up kind of thing like it wasn't going too slowly or fast or anything it was just right but then i felt like the ending was really sped up for some reason <laughs> it was a really good read i'm really happy i picked this one up and i really want to pick up more from this author because i found her writing to be really really good and yeah i just really loved it so yeah that was a really good read the next one i'm going to talk about is the catch by tm logan so this one i gave a three out of five stars to there is a major trigger warning in this for animal harm i would just say because it's a thriller when is an animal not harmed because it's a thriller seriously every thriller i swear i read just has an animal in it but anyway who is harmed but this one was um okay basically we follow the story of this very protective father who whose daughter just met a new guy basically and he's not really keen on him but you don't really know if he's just imagining things or if there is actually something very suspicious going on with this guy called ryan um so yeah we follow multiple point of views but the main point of view is ed who is the father and you do follow some other point of views towards the end of the book this one i found in the beginning kind of like addictive to read because i was like what's actually happening you know what does this guy is just imagining it obviously as i said it's an unreliable narrator and i always find those sort of books quite interesting to read because you don't know if he's telling the truth you don't know if he's making it up or if he's telling the truth so i was just like what's going on i find it quite predictable in the end if i'm honest with you like i did think yeah this is going to happen in the end and i think by the end i was just kind of ready to, for it to finish i did find it quite lengthy as well like i didn't feel like it had to be this long the thing i did also feel like it did speed up towards the end so it's kind of like everything at the beginning took a while and then again everything just sped up towards the end so overall it was a good read like it was a good thriller it did have me sometimes guessing a few things and i was kind of wondering what's going on but yeah i think you kind of know if, if you've read thrillers a lot you kind of know what's going to happen do you know what i mean but i do have the holiday by this author and i'm really intrigued by that one so i probably will be picking up that one soon which i also mentioned in my summer tbr and the last one i'm going to mention and um the last one i read i literally read on the last day of may and that is emily and oliver by robin benway i've got this one from the library i finally went to the library last month and i got this one out so i got around to reading it and i gave this one a four out of five stars as well because this was just a very good book we follow two characters named emmy and oliver and oliver is very unfortunately kidnapped by his father when they're about seven and emmy for most of her like the rest of her childhood and early teen years is wondering where oliver is then he is found and he comes back but not everything is like obviously the same and he looks a lot different and it's basically them trying to cope with all this change and um you know how they deal with it that kind of thing so i found this one to be very emotional there are a few scenes in this where i was crying a little bit because it does follow a very tough storyline and i feel very sorry for these two characters emmy and oliver because they were really good friends and obviously oliver was kidnapped unfortunately and they were torn apart and oliver as well like coming back is trying to rebuild his friendships with his friends from his childhood and also his fam like his mum and there's a lot of changes happening you know and i think robin benway wrote this in such a sensitive way i would have liked to have probably seen more from oliver's point of view if i'm honest because i feel like that well not point of view but kind of more like of what he felt if you know what i mean like i know i did say like you could you know tell and it was hard for him but i don't know maybe going into that more would have been really cool but yeah i really enjoyed this book there's also a lot of like bits in this that like made me laugh out loud or like had me like giggling for a while i think it's just the way robin benway writes his, her characters i just found it really interesting i loved um 
her friends as well, like uh, Emmy's friends and Oliver's friends, they were really cool, the side characters. I don't know, they all just made a really good friendship group, which I love to see. I love seeing really good friendship group. This one was really good. I think I've read another Robin Benway book, but I'm not sure. But yeah, this was kind of a nice contemporary to read. So those were all the books I read in May. I don't feel like I gave a very good description of each one. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below what you read in May, whether you enjoyed your reads, whether they were kind of meh. Mine were okay. I read two good books though, so that was the main thing. But I'm hoping in June I might read a few more books because I have a lot of books to get to and I really want to read them. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you so wish. And I shall see you on my next video. Bye guys.